Okay. Hello and welcome back. Now, get you over there. Actually, no, why do we need to put you over there? Keep your eye on me. Now, yes, sure. I've been hearing stuff about. A tutorial island where people say you should do and what you shouldn't do. And I need a way to keep this book open without me throwing it against the wall. So, put you over there, get rid of that. You can stay right there. Okay. I have a little master ox here. No. You three can stay right there. I said stay. When I'm talking about the tutorial island, I'm talking about this lovely thing right here. Now, if I remember correctly, and I haven't been here in some time, because after you complete it, you can't go back. You start here, you, at the lighthouse, you crash up here on your ship, you get found by someone, you end up here where either he gives you clothes or armament, stuff like that, or you make it yourself. Mind you, it's been some time. So you go through here. Learning, if I remember correctly, how to fight, how to scan, mine and crush rocks. And then you get, after that, one of these lovely four, five, where are yours? Okay, there. One well, of these lovely one, two, three. Why was, why was my mind counting six? Okay. Right. One of these five lovely places. I'll get back to that. Um, here, well, each area has a lovely main thing, like rock, tree, I, um, or skinning. Scanning, what the heck? Cotton. No? This one is the cotton. Oh, I hate when they mixed up. Mind you, they just had an update too, so. Okay. So this should be awards. Skinning. Woods as well. Cotton and skinning. Okay. One of these days. I'll get these memorized. Alright. I can vouch for this one. When you find a place one of these they will have like you saw all three but one place will have a lot more like here 
Yeah, this is where you come out after the city. Actually, let's go where you guys come out the first time. You're more likely to easily find ore and rock than cotton. Or, yeah, I'm just going to say cotton here. Even though it is there. However, bandits and salt. Okay, don't care about that. However, let's get back to here. Let's say you make a character, don't do the tutorial island. At least it did back when I started. It gave you an option not to do it when you first make your first character. Don't bypass this. For a new character, hold on. I'm going to do this like this. There. It's going to be quiet. Um, back on that box. Actually, no. Hold on. I have a little bit of music too. Nope, no music for us. Because I want to play. Um, with this. For like a mid to high range, I say players. We already have what we get. We already have what we need out of it. You, For you guys, new players should do that. So go to the Tory Island and get the three days premium. What comes out of it, you guys will be high for you. Be good. Nope, wrong one. Am I just there? Like be thirty points learning points a day. 10,000 per focus per day. 50 plus 50% 50 of fame. I would say, yes, get it for you. Ability to buy an island. That's after a certain time. And I don't like being around people. Go to the uh, I'm alone here all day. As soon as I start doing this, people want to um, show up. Okay. Back to this. You have ability to um, buy an island. I believe that's still, you have to have seven days. So, like five bucks. Probably a little bit more than five, a couple cents more. So, you have the seven days of premium you need to buy an island. If not, just start your own clan. Don't have to have anybody else in it but you. You're able to buy an island for that. Um, if, when you start out, 50% more silver. It's good. Loots from mobs. Even right now, high levels. Don't drop that much. This only um, matters if you have a farm. Because, truth, when it comes to mining and stuff like that, you get high enough, your ability to just once in a while get extra. Crop yield, again, for farming. And a growth rate. You are not going to worry about this. I say within the first week of you playing. 
reduce 50 percent reduce market tax and even without it I don't notice the difference it's not that big of a deal um Here is something I've been hearing a lot of people say you should do. A lot of them say you should get over 100k, 100,000, uh, rough, rough stone. Now, unless rough stone has gotten a high boost when it respawns that could easily still take you an hour or hour and a half up to two and even if you want to do it it's not worth it because that hundred thousand taking your time you could easily do anywhere here except for here yeah that's a different kind of bad place well good or bad to you can make it um, but yeah I do not see a reason why you should stay here for that long just to make a hundred thousand when starting out you don't know what you want to do because true just standing in one place doing the same thing over and over which from my perspective is tedious I do not want to do that which sounds weird because I like to mine ore but to me that sounds a waste of time when you could be out here making money i mean i last time i checked yes rough ore goes for 114 silver but you do you um I was watching a YouTuber last night, don't remember the name, that says, oh, after you do this, do it again and again until you have, I think he said like over 15 alts, which that, that's a lot of accounts you got to make. Because each account can only have three characters in it. I don't see the point of making that many just to, what, make one good? My thing is, I have one character. And, yeah, it's him. I do not have the time to do 50 alts just to make this one fantastic and not play it like no you didn't get this game to play a hundred different characters and not enjoy the game because all he said you guys should be doing with those characters over and over and over is a tutorial island. And I'm like, no. Which, saying that, the tutorial island does give you a step-by-step -step more PvE. It doesn't really give you any knowledge 
And if it, if it does, maybe a little bit of anything PvP. Now, other thing. It doesn't really give you anything on the class systems. Which is okay with me. Because technically, by Elbion rules, there is no class system. Yes, there's fighters, miners, mages, and all that, but it's just that a name. What they need to do with the Tor Islands give you a little PvP training. But I think that's why they have their arena right now. Which would be in any of those lightly shiny lights with the districts. We have our arena. <laughs> now, the tutorial island is not a bad island. I kind of wish you could go back if you need to learn a few things because I have forgotten more than I've learned, which, yeah. Yeah, I know you cough. Other thing. It doesn't really teach you about the market, which is something you are going to need to learn. Okay. Ah. Mm. Uh. Okay, just checking out there. And I do love the nine day cycle. I don't know why. Mm. And as well, like this little area is pretty much what you stuck into. Yeah. So let's do this step by step. You land here, you walk up, you meet someone here. Who trains you or gives you the equipment you need out of a chest. Now this is back when I started, which is I think a year or two ago. I do not remember. Um, you fight some people right here. Do 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 scan some things. Um hmm. Little marketplace there. Okay. And as you go up here, it gives you. Hmm. Same place. It gives you a choice that was not there before. Us, we had to go right to the forest. So forest or mountain path. Mm -hmm. As you go up here, all that skinning, cutting trees, and then you get right here. Or no, I don't remember what happens here, but something does. Then you go back, and it has you take the no wait, it was there. Let's take the second path. Mining, rocks, and you go straight, and it takes you straight to another ship, which takes you right over here to any of these lovely five house symbols. Mm -hmm. Now,
I made a little mistake when I started. I started here. Because each starting area will have all five. I decided to go through here. The Glenamore area. And look for mining. What this place is for? Good for? Trees. Maybe rocks. It took me months, up to half a year, to level my mining up as high as I did. Know where you are. You have a choice as soon as you leave here to pick a place. You can check it out beforehand on the tutorial for the no hidden M for map. And you can look and see what you want to do. I mean, with this, with the iron, you can make the armor. And a weapon, which would be the hammer. Here, with the wood and skinning, you can make a bow and arrow and the leather armor. Now, Yep, same thing, Scott Cotton. And all that here as well. I believe you are more likely to find leather here. Because, like, even with me mining, being a trader, my main home. Is here. So if you don't mind seeing trees, snow, and all that, you and I can pick a nice place to be. Now, doing this island will not teach you how to get quick, fast, quick, fast, rich, fast. What it will do is teach you the do's and don'ts. Minimum do's and don'ts. Yeah, and still until let's say yeah, you know, let's use this area. You get here and see how many people actually use that place as our hub you won't know. That's the thing. Like, my home, my hub, my auction house, and where the city's chest is, where you can hide and put yourself in, are, let's say, 75 to 85% always packed. Um, each one looks different, which I know should. Hmm. Now, now this boy, nope. Now this boy right here is going to be your best friend. Because you get a well, oh, wow, long side. You get these three options. I recommend playing with them 
until you pick out your actual what you want to do. Your armor and all that. Now that's after you figure out how to... Oh, not how to. What you want to make your money maker. Now. Each place, except for... Well, I'm going to say Motlock, Highland Cross, mm -hmm. yeah, Highland Cross, I think that will have a dungeon in the area. Multiple dungeons. I think with this, maybe up to 10 at a time. And no, I can't just be like, there's one. There's one. There's one. Like, no. It's random spawns. Um, except for these. But those are not always dungeons. There could be passageways to other areas, too. Like that one. Like right here. That is actually in these maps. Yeah, which it's called a feature. Will let go. Take you right here. The hell? Ah. That's new, but it's in the red zone, so that's going to have to wait a bit. Okay. Now, let's talk about the zones. As I did in my last video, but I'm going to be a little bit more in detail. I'm trying, yes, and I know I'm speaking fast. I'm trying to make this a short video today. Been a long day. Now, as these are all blue, 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 and yes, even the blue, at least at the bottom, you can go all the way around if you set the bottom blue. Now, the blue is 100% PvE. Which means another player cannot attack you. Which is one reason I say take your time with these blue zones. Don't rush. And as. Not me, but other people? Okay, yeah, I have one. First hand. The game will not penalize you, but it will. Slap you across the face, showing you, no, you're not ready for this area. Because if you think that without knowing your skills, the only thing that's going to happen, you need to know, is just hack and slash, you're going to lose. That's why I say, take your time with these. Fighter, mage, well, I'm going to say more hunter, rogue, which, yes, you can combine all three of these into one class, one thing, and do it like that. Or we want to use this one, and combo gatherer. Because sooner or later, someone is going to need to buy your goods. Because someone will not go out there and do it for themselves. Not saying they can't, they just don't want to. Now, one thing though. If you're in one of these blue zones, no, they cannot attack you. If you go into a group dungeon... You could be ganked. 
Yes, there are some in here. And it warns you the first time. But there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of solo dungeons. I would say like 10. I'm probably half of what's actually in there. Now, these. The yellow zones. Yellow zones are safe. Ish. Um, and the fun thing about yellow zones too. Which I find funny and fun. Um, if when you have the gear to gather or to fight in a yellow zone. Which, yeah, you should know all your tricks by then. You can make money. Now, this is the time where you have opportunity to have your mining suit or your gathering suit which would be this which take it what you're gathering it will give you reduce weight mm -hmm. and yes I believe there's a way you can get that higher than 30% but I don't fool around with that crap. But here's the thing. Um, as well, I know you'd be tempted to buy, like, say, four, five of these, thinking that it's going to break. No, the durability, even on the beginning ones, are quite a bit long. And about the time that, let's say, you got one and get it down, you can make a few chips before that durability is gone. So you would just need one. So don't waste your money on buying multiples. I did that. I regret it. Um... Let's see here. Now, why are these safe-ish? Yellow, the yellow sectors are PVE with a splash of PVP. Now, and it will happen. You can't be 100% safe all the time. When you get ganked and taken out, in a yellow zone, you won't lose everything. No way whatsoever. I know that there will be a thing that pops up and says, type in, I believe it's suicide, and <clears throat> you get everything taken away and spawn back. Do not do that. Let the timer go away. And you spawn back up. Um, here's the thing. They don't take your stuff. They can't get your stuff. The stuff that you have in your backpack, your inventory, they won't get. They might get a little bit of uh, money. But usually they don't take it. It's not worth it. They do it. They're gankers. They do it to be an asshole. Now. Here's the thing. Um, yellow zones. Are safe-ish. The safe part is. Nine times out of ten. You're going to not to worry about anybody. Why? Because. There are players that do this for fun. They chase the gankers around the yellow zones. And I do mean they chase them around. It may not be every yellow zone. But they make sure that it's hard for them to do it. Because really... It's 
what did they get out of it? Just to make you, just to be an asshole. Now, here's the thing. Here's the bad things. The red zones. The red zones are where you're going to make your buck. You're going to make money, no problem. There you go. You want to make that 50,000 50, in a few minutes? Oh, let's say a half hour to an hour. There you go. Oh, I'll actually say more to 15 to 25 minutes. There you go. Because I can do that in a blue zone, no problem. Um, but the, here's the problem. No matter what, you die in a red zone, you lose everything. And yeah, who find it keeps it, or who kills you keeps it all. Which comes up to the thing, even here. I know it doesn't matter that much, but practice it here when you first start. When you first start, practice it. Don't bring out stuff that you're not really to lose. Because about the time you get here, you're able to make that money. You're able to do that stuff, no problem. Fight. You lose it, you don't fly off the handle. Because, you know, if you did to go back here, you got more. Come out there, make the money. However, as well, there is guilds here who use this island as places to practice fighting, which is faction warfare. Okay. Not going there. Um. Hmm. It's the point where here and there, where they have their hideouts, drinkers don't go. Now, where these hideouts are, I don't know. Um. As well, if you think you're gonna be safe, that area is theirs. They will just attack you. They, they won't care. Now, you want to know a tough area to be here. These, this area, is, oh, I believe they call it Guild Island. It's not that bad of a place to be, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff everywhere. That's like that one of these can fit in the middle of this, and yeah. And here we're talking about making another island, just like this over here, I believe. Maybe like a little one over here, but that's hearsay. Who knows? Now, the funny thing there's guilds. Like, there you go. I don't know what color goes with guild, but either way. I know it's best not to screw with them. Mm. Alliances. See if they're any different with this.
Hmm. Not bad. Yeah, a little bit of faction, not much. And when it comes to here, faction warfare is one of the big things. Which is in a lot. In faction warfare, these are pretty much what we're talking about. But, that is that. Like I said, pretty much do what you want in this game. I know it's a long-winded speech, and there you go. Um. I wanted to make it fast, that's what I did. You all have a good day. Tomorrow? Not tomorrow. Next time, which I believe will be this Sunday. Nope, Sunday I cannot do. Um, I will be teaching you the more markets and how to help yourself with them. Well, I'll see you then.